everything and to give us the facts. I want to thank you. Well, I appreciate it, man. And now, here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. Well, five days a week we go, two hours a day we go, 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day out there, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow up 191, Nasdaq up 50, S&P's up 24, gold contract down $21, trading at 1,416 an ounce. Silver off 63 cents at $34.21 an ounce. Platinum. Off twenty four dollars at one thousand eight twenty five an ounce. Copper flat at four forty nine a pound. Light sweet crude down forty seven cents trading out at one o three o one. Bonds off a full point at one eighteen sixteen. Dollar index down seventeen ticks trading out at seventy six fifty one. Euro up nine ticks at one thirty nine. Yen up five ticks at eighty two thirty seven. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You're up twenty three bucks. We're at thirteen thirty. We do nine hundred and forty five million shares. Now check it out, folks. On the eighteenth of February, we're at thirteen forty four. Eighteenth of February, you did one point one billion up there. You came off that high. On the 22nd, you do 1.3 billion on the way down. We did the counter trend bounce on the 28th. You did 1.2. You came down yesterday on 1.1. We're going into that with 1074. Now, the high of that number is 1332.09. We got the 1332.28, closed out to 1330.97. If you look at the SPY, what you have, the SPY, what the SPY did, deviance, no doubt. The, devi the SPY had made a high on the, the 18th of February with 130 million shares, 134.69. You come off that high with 233 million shares, go back top side with 141. Yesterday we do 258. That high of yesterday, folks, was 133.69. We got to 133.62 today. You're at 133.47. Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow. What you had with the Dow is this. Dow is up 191 points. Gets over the high, the high of yesterday, which was 12,261. We close. We get to 12,283 today. You close at 12,258. Now, that correlation, bottom line, is that you got over that high closed underneath it, got into the downdraft of the 22nd. The correlation is 1 billion shares versus 1.3 billion. We go to the NASDAQ composite. You take a look at the composite. What we have with the composite is this. Composite made a high also on the 18th. That high that was made on the 18th in the composite was 2840. We come off that high on the 22nd with 2.2 billion. We do a counter trend with two billion. You're into that counter trend with 1.9 billion today, going against the 22nd, which was the 2.279 billion. So this is going to get real interesting coming into the jobs number tomorrow morning. If we go take a look at the four Qs, what you have inside the four Qs is this: four Qs. We did 61 million shares. She's going into the 92 million. Now, what the four Qs did is that the four Qs did close over the high, which was 58.13. So that's saying bottom line, you can test that high up there. That high had 44 million shares. You came down with 92 million. Now, inside the NDX 100, this is what you had. You had Apple, Qualcomm, Oracle, and Research in Motion put the juice into it. If we go over and we take a look at Apple, this is what you have with Apple. Apple did 17 million shares. She's going into 29 million. We are at a price point of 
That was over 359.50. That's also saying Apple can go tag that high up here, which was the 364.90. Bottom line, though, what you have here is that Apple, well, Apple's going to need a lot more juice to get up and over these levels. Uh, Apple came down hard on the 18th, and I mean real hard. So uh, Google, we take a look at the other one that was putting some juice inside it. Google just wants to go downtown. It was up eight bucks today. Uh, Google was going against 3.3 million with 1.9 million. There's just uh, that action is not there. Let's go to uh, Danny in Atlanta. Hey, Danny, what's going on? Hi, Tom. I bought uh, an Eagle Eagle earlier today, and uh, I'm up about a buck. Uh, what do you think? Let's let's take a look at it. You got an Eco Eagle, folks. Uh, this is a, uh, a gold producer. The low is 54. The high is 88. The PE uh, is uh, 24. Okay, so what he's doing here, folks, is this, and and these are getting close. Okay, um, you know, you came down. This came this came down into a 69.31 today. Now, where it was going into, folks, is this. It was going into the 21st of January. The 21st of January, we made a low of 68 dollars and 27 cents. The high of that low bar is seventy dollars and ten cents. So I, I believe what he's looking at today is that it came down to the sixty nine thirty one, rejected the seventy ten, and you know that can put you into game. Um, I don't think the swing points up there, but you know I think you can get uh, seventy two to seventy four out of it if that's what you're looking for. This this equity has some big problems on a longer term basis, Danny. On a shorter term basis, I think you're going to make a few bucks. So where would you put a stop for a shorter-term basis? Right underneath here, uh, right under 69.31. Give it nothing. This equity, let me tell you something. Someone is dumping this equity in a big way. Let me just pull this up today for the... Yeah, it wasn't bad today, but uh, you only had uh, one block trade really go across at 11,500. I mean, we have 5,000, but I've been watching this, and someone's dumping 20 or 30,000 at a time. That's How did the other... How did the other gold stocks look today? Uh... They're not bad. They're not bad. I kind of like how they're setting up. What they're doing is this. Like if we look at Rango Resources, right? Now, Rango, you know, I love that stock. I mean, it went from 105, 106. We actually sold it up there. You know, it's at 80 bucks now, okay? That is also setting up kind of nice. You know, that came, that, uh, what Rango had, Rango made a low out there, folks, on the uh, 26th of January at 75. It it goes up the first time at 83, doesn't have any juice. Pulls back uh, again to 77, it comes back with light of volume, and then it goes up to 83 and it has juice. So it's like, okay, I like that setup there because now you're finally pushing higher with volume. So I, I do like that setup. Uh, what I don't like, and I'm just going to wait to see how this shakes out right now, is that the the gold contract itself, like when we, I had Larry on yesterday, it was a perfect butterfly. It gave it up. It has light of volume, so it's like I want to see where this baby goes first. But I suspect it being so deviant, you know, is that more than likely we'll see the gold contract buy back and some of these large caps will be buys. Be, and, and, and simultaneously what you'll see happen, folks, which is just bizarre, but I've seen it happen before, is that gold will be going down. And some of these larger caps look like they're going to be buys in the next week, week and a half. Thank you, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. 877-927-6648. Let's take a look at some of the high-volume stocks we had out here. You had Wells Fargo up 86. We had Yahoo up 23. Uh, Amlin Pharmaceutical, got, that got smoked. That was down 381. We had General Electric up uh, 43. We had uh, Cisco up 3. Pfizer was up 58. We had Bank of America up 44. Let's go over to Bank of America. We take a look at BAC. She's not going anywhere. Bank of America is up 44. She was up with uh, 136 million shares. She's going against the 196. We go over to the energy. Uh, energy, uh, the XLE out here. She was up a buck 33, trading out at 78.84. We look at the biggest weighting inside there. Uh, biggest weighting is ExxonMobil. Now, ExxonMobil does want to tag that high out there, folks. ExxonMobil had a high, has a high at the 23rd. That number is 88.23, the 38 million. That's the number out there. She she does want to go tag that. Uh, what we had in Europe today, we had we had some we had some good divergence in Europe actually out here today. What you had is this: the FTSE 
was up 90 bucks. Now, the, the footsies, you know, the, 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 the number in the FTSE right now is 6,000, 6,005. The high out there is 6,100. FTSE, bottom line, held it going into, going into the close. What you had, however, and this is where the divergence was, the Cat Crow sold off in France. You had the Cat Crow as high as uh, 4,098. That sold down last two hours to 4,060. The DAX, different animal. DAX in Germany sold off 1% going into the close. The DAX in Germany was as high as 72.94, uh, ends up closing out at the 72.25, which is saying that tomorrow morning, you, we're not only going to have the divergence, okay, but the DAX is telling me she wants to trade down to the 7,093 mark, which is a big number. What's also happening, and this is going to be a wild night, let me tell you, folks, is that the Hang Sang also is at 23.122. And that is saying that she wants to trade down to 22575 So the volatility is out here. It's absolutely out here in spades. If we go over to the bond market, we take a look at bonds. What we have with bonds out here, 30-year bond, she pulled back today uh, full point. She did that with, uh, let me see, I actually have to go, one second. No, I got to go to the M contract. Uh, US, uh, US M. Okay, so she pulled back with 370,000 contracts. Um, she is going into uh, 379. She looks like she wants to hold. We're at 118.16. Um, she wants to hold the 117.22 area. The dollar. Okay, so let's check out the good old uh, U.S. dollar. And, of course, uh, the whole world is bearish on the dollar. We go take a look at this dollar. This dollar, folks, continues day after day after day to hold these lows. The, we're going into 33,000 contracts. The low that we're talking about out here is 76.17. We get to 76.37. We did that today with 29,000 contracts. And bottom line, we'll see uh, if it can handle that 76.17 mark. But right now, the way that's set up, my take is that, yes, it will hang uh, in there. Uh, why? Because what you have here is that um, when we were at the highs up there of uh, January 10th, January 6th, as well as November 30th, you had some nice juice up there. We had 33,000 contracts up at those levels. This is Tom O'Brien. This is GFNN. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. And the world of the markets, folks, we had the Dow up uh, 191, NASDAQ up 50, S&Ps up 22, gold off 20, platinum off 24, Silver, off 59 cents. We're going to be right back.